the film starts at the time of Halloween. Here we see a man who is scared, and Jester was following him. At this time, Jester was wearing orange clothes, and always had a hat on his head. He is a very bad and dangerous kind of joker. He impresses and surprises people by showing his magic tricks. He also scares people, and the most dangerous thing is that the same tricks kill people. Mercilessly, he gets angry a lot anyway. He gets angry when someone does not pay attention to his tricks or does not like him. Here that man was seeing his elder, his daughter Emma, not in her present form, but in her childhood form. At this age, the man had left his daughter Emma and his mother. He was getting married again, in which another daughter of the man was born, whose name is Jocelyn. That is, Emma and Jocelyn's stepsister. Wherever the man was going, he was seeing Emma's childhood form. It's everywhere. And this was also a trick of Jester. To make that man feel ashamed, he wanted to pressurize him. Or it happened that the man called his daughter Emma in shame and apologized. That son, forgive me. But Emma said, and hung up the phone that I have nothing to do with you. Do not call me again because sorry does not heal the wound. He got very angry, and now because the phone was switched off, the man was very sad, because of which Jester comes to him. That man, that is, Emma's dad, says, look, I tried, but she does not want to talk to me. Which means that the man was doing all this under the pressure of Jester, and now he was not successful in it. That's why Jester comes down here to his magic. By doing his crazy things, he got Emma's dad. Died. As soon as he tightened his tie, the rope got tied around his dad. He then pulled the tie, which also pulled the rope, and Emma's dad died suddenly. As soon as this happens, Jester drops him in the water. The next day, Emma's dad's funeral was held. Emma herself came here. Her younger sister Jocelyn and her friends were also there. Emma does not talk to Jocelyn here because she did not like her. Emma was happy with her dad's death. She calls her mom and tells her about it. She started saying that it was good. She was worth it. She died. And in this way, justice was done to us. But Jocelyn was very sad. Now everyone had left the funeral. But Emma did not. She was talking to her mom on the phone. Then she sees that a man like a joker is dancing near her dad's coffin. It was no one else but Jester, who suddenly disappeared from there. But actually, he was hiding there. He was watching Emma go. After a while, the two men guarding the cemetery came there. They tried to get Jester out of there. But he started playing with them. Sometimes he was disappearing, sometimes. He used to come back. Seeing this, the two men were very upset. One of them called the police. Meanwhile, Jester pushed the other man down, causing his head to go straight, and hit the stone. He was seriously injured, because of which he died on the spot. Jester did this with his dangerous magic trick. He was having a lot of fun. The other man sees that. The dead man's shoes were also tied. And obviously, this was also Jester's doing. Now before that man could tell the police anything, something started happening in his lane. Suddenly, he started vomiting blood, because something was coming out of his throat. When that thing came out, he found out that it was a whole apple. Now, obviously, this was also Jester's trick. He pulls the apple out, and like this, his work was also done. Now this thing was very strange, but still Jester gets bored, and to do his next dangerous trick, he leaves from there. At night, Emma went to meet Jocelyn, in a bar. Their conversation was still going on quite well, but as soon as Jocelyn mentions her dad, Emma gets angry. She also tells a lot of things to Jocelyn, and started leaving from there. So sadly, poor Jocelyn also started leaving from here. Some man stops her and says that your dad was not a good person. I have worked with him for 15 years. I found out that he has a lot of secrets. A lot of his demons were evil. One of them was his demon Jester, who used to make him work upside down. When Jester was leaving, Emma stops her. He brings a lot of cards in front of her and asks her to choose one. But Emma did not like this thing. So to get rid of her, Simma goes to the store in front. Jester also went ahead. He met two children, who were brothers. The elder one picked up a lot of candies, while the younger one honestly took only one. He then asked Jester for a candy. Then he cast a spell in the air, and made a candy and gave it to the child. Seeing this, the elder one felt bad. He put his hand in his brother's bag, and started taking his candies back. But a hand came out of the bag and grabbed his hand. And this hand was Jester's, because at that time his hand had disappeared and gone into the bag. Seeing this, the two children were very nervous. They threw their bags there and ran away. When they came home, Jocelyn saw a brownie figure on the TV. She said that it was Jester's. Jester was very angry. 
When she came home, Jocelyn was watching a brownie film on TV. Suddenly her eyes went to the door. Here she could see a shadow of a man who was peeping inside the house. She was also thinking that someone knocks on the door of the house. When Jocelyn opens the door in fear, her friends are there, whom she calls inside. Emma went to a store there, but here too Jester did not leave her behind. He came in front of her and started doing weird things. At first he was just doing all this as a joke, but after a while it got serious. Now when he came close, Emma recognizes that he is the same crazy joker who is dancing in front of my dad's coffin. He got angry. She pushes Jester, but the bottle falls from his hand and breaks. Then Jester, he immediately picked up a piece of his glass. Now Emma thought that he would kill me, but he cuts his own throat. His blood comes out quickly and starts falling on Emma. Now being lifeless, Jester falls down. Then suddenly, he stood up again. That too with a lot of style. Now obviously this was also his trick which he wanted to impress by showing Emma. But what is the effect of this? She runs away from there out of fear. She comes to the store again. There was blood on her face. Seeing her condition, the store owner calls the police here. In a while, two police officers came here. They start questioning Emma. Although Emma told them everything about Jester. But obviously it was difficult to believe her. The police think that there was a joke going on here. They also start asking a lot of questions. As an answer, Jester himself comes inside the store. He takes out a handcuff in front of them and puts it on. Both his hands. But the next moment that handcuff disappears from his hands and gets into the hands of both the officers. Now before she could understand anything, Jester covered an officer's head with her hat. And now, as soon as the hat is removed, the officer's head disappears from there. So without a head, he starts suffering. Seeing this, the store owner's condition got worse. He quickly runs away from here. The second officer opens his handcuffs and puts a gun on Jester. While Jester was dancing with the officer's headless body, he was having a lot of fun doing this. The officer shoots. Instead of hitting Jester, it hits the officer. So his job is done. So now when he shoots Jester, he catches the bullet. Seeing this, Emma's condition also got worse. She also runs away from there quickly. Now after killing the remaining officer, Jester also leaves. From there, there Jocelyn felt like her dad was still with me. She went to her room and was looking at her dad's picture. That's when he leaves the picture and follows him. Seeing this, Jocelyn got scared. She comes down and tells her friends, let's go to the festival. All friends came to the festival, but here too Jocelyn was seeing the same strange things. So she got tired and sat in the same place. Here she sees her dad again, but this time she follows him. Then Jester comes and sits on his seat, which started tricking Jocelyn's friend. As Jester picked up a cup, there were fresh teeth under it, which were not of anyone else, but of Jocelyn's friend sitting in front of her, whose mouth is now bleeding. Then when she picked up the second cup, there was nothing under it. But when she hit the cup and shook it, Jocelyn's eyes came out. And now as soon as the boy's eyes went, he started screaming in pain. And now he started running all over in this state. Then people started running in fear seeing his condition. Without seeing anything, the boy goes straight to his friend and falls. That's why his two friends hold him and take him to the side. They saw that Jocelyn was standing completely deaf. Because at this time she was thinking about her childhood with her dad. And now Jester comes to Jocelyn's friend and breaks his leg. Then when he pointed out to Jocelyn's third friend to be quiet, her throat began to choke. At this time, Jocelyn also came out of her thoughts. She came to Jester and told him to please leave all this. I am ready to do whatever you say. Emma was still running there when she got a call from her mom, which was not of anyone else but of Jester. He was speaking in gestures and Emma was hearing those words in his mom's voice. Now Jester wanted Emma to forget everything and leave quietly. If she didn't go, this game would continue like this. But here Jester took the name of Jocelyn while talking about this. That she is also in danger is not safe. Now it is obvious that she was Emma's sister, so she will not go without Jocelyn. The bridge in front of Emma was where her dad died. But still he was standing there. So she runs and goes to him where her dad makes her realize her mistake. She also realized it. That's why she calls him dad for the first time while crying. That is, Emma had forgiven him today. But now her dad puts the bandage around her neck in Emma's neck, pulls her from the road and drops her from the bridge, where she can see Jocelyn's childhood time. She insults Emma by calling her bad, but she understands that this is not the real Jocelyn, but a scam. This illusion is being put in my mind to trap me, so she didn't pay much attention to it. 
Yes, and then, little Jocelyn goes to the front shed with her dad, where Jester was also there. She also pointed to Emma. Then she also goes inside. She was seeing Jocelyn's happy childhood with her dad, which Emma did not get. Her dad came to Emma with a knife, but seems to have a knife in his chest, which made Emma feel very bad. She starts crying. Seeing this, her dad says, Why are you crying now? I was happy. All this was actually a scam. In this world of delusion, her dad wanted to make Emma feel ashamed so that she would be completely broken here. Here Emma was strong before, but now she starts getting angry. Jocelyn had also come in a big way. She was also insulting Emma by telling her story. Jocelyn takes out a knife from her dad's chest and gives it to Emma, saying that, wake up and kill yourself. But here Emma controls herself, saves herself from breaking, and tells Jocelyn that you are not real, just a scam. I will not come in your trap. Saying this, she stabbed Jocelyn in the stomach. With this, she came back to the real world, where she really stabbed Jocelyn. It's the thing that Jester had made her do by putting her in illusion. As soon as this happens, he keeps clapping for Emma. But what could have happened now? That poor girl fell down. Her condition is about to die. Emma ran to her. Jocelyn says that you don't worry. I know. You didn't do it on purpose, but you were asleep. And Jester made you do it. But with all this, Emma went crazy in anger. She takes a knife and attacks Jester's chest many times, but she didn't even get a slight scratch. She shouted at Jester that, Do whatever you want with me, but now my sister. Don't even come near Jocelyn. Hearing this, Jester leaves without saying anything. And now we see the time after this where Emma came to her dad's grave to lighten the burden of her heart. She says many more things to her dad and Jester. Standing nearby was listening to all this. That means Jester is still with her. He also tries to control Emma here. But Emma doesn't get fooled by this because Jester failed in his goal. He leaves from there. From here, Emma goes straight to the bar where Jocelyn was waiting for Emma to come. And Emma saved Jocelyn. That means now the relationship of these two sisters was very good here. But in all this, Jocelyn's friend, Trix, was killed like this. Here we found out that Jester wanted to break both the sisters, especially Emma. But she remained strong. She saved herself by breaking. So not only did she get rid of her Jester, but she also saved her sister. Because Jester uses human weaknesses against him and breaks him. Then he kills him. Because he is a mad joker, he enjoys doing this. And with this happy ending, the story of this movie ends here. Thank you.